fortunate uh, circumstances that bring us here. I'm Officer John Franson with the California Highway Patrol Golden Gate Division. And as most people know by now, uh, there's been three back-to-back -back shootings that occurred within the San Francisco Bay Area uh, within the last three days. On uh, Friday afternoon, a 25-year-old female uh, from Antioch was found uh, shot and killed in her vehicle on eastbound Highway 4 near Willow Pass Road uh, off-ramp. This appears to have been a targeted shooting that right now investigators uh, believe that it indeed was gang-related. On Saturday evening, uh, the CHP Dublin area units responded to a freeway shooting in which, investor, which investigators believe occurred on I-580 eastbound at uh, Airway Boulevard. This appears also to have been a targeted shooting uh, and may have involved road rage. Uh, the suspects are described in this incident as two black males that were uh, driving a, a 19, or sorry, a, a 2019 Honda Accord. One of the victims suffered a gunshot wound uh, and it's not considered life threatening. Then the third incident that we had happened this morning, uh, which occurred on I-80 westbound east of McDonald Avenue. In that circumstance, we had a suspect that fired one round towards a vehicle and fled the scene. The victim pulled off the freeway and discovered a, a bullet hole in their vehicle and notified of Richmond Police Department. Once Richmond Police Department determined that CH that had occurred on the freeway, they notified uh, the California Highway Patrol. That shooting again uh, appears to be targeted. At this, not, at this time, none of the shootings appear to be related. That's important to state. I know that, that was a question that had come up earlier. Uh, right now, we have victims that are cooperating with us. Uh, CHP investigators will be looking at the shot spotter camera system that are located both on Highway 4 and also on Interstate 80 for two of the, for two of the incidents that occurred. One of the most important things uh, that we would like to stress to the public is they're a vital component to our investigations. We would ask that anyone that witnessed uh, these shootings or maybe has information pertaining to these shootings contact our 24-hour investigation hotline at 707-917-4491. And again, that's a 24-hour uh, tip line we just ask the callers to press the pound sign twice after uh, they make the call. Since November 1st of 2015, there have been a total of 185 freeway shootings within CHP Golden Gate Division uh, jurisdiction. And that has resulted in 65 injuries, nine of which were fatal. Since that time, CHP has made 34 arrests involving uh, these freeway shootings, and in some cases, more than one of the shootings. We want to assure the public that not only will these incidents be fully investigated, but we will continue to go out on patrol, whether it be our ground units or air units, and make sure that we provide the highest level of uh, safety, service, and security to the community. We also want to thank members in past incidents and past investigations that have come forward and indeed contacted that tip line and provided valuable information that helped solve some of these cases. Again, all three of these shootings appear to be targeted and investigators believe that the shooting on Highway 4 in Contra, uh, Contra Costa County was gang related. Any other questions? Gang-related one. Details are still coming in. It's an ongoing, active investigation. All three of these incidents are are very uh, fresh, for lack of a better word. And so our investigators are are using all the resources that are available available to them as far as technology and uh, as far as witnesses coming forward. And once we get more information, we'll be able to provide more details at that time. So the incident on Saturday was in the Vallejo area. Is that correct? Uh, 
uh, the Saturday incident was the one that occurred in uh, Dublin's area. Dublin area. Is there any place else in the state that has this mini freeway change? I'd have to look at all this, all the, the figures and the statistics on that. Uh, we can try and provide you with some of those figures uh, through our CHP headquarters. That's a very legitimate question. On our end, the California Highway Patrol, we're in the business of enforcing pre-existing laws. Uh, we would just say that for, on our end, if we look at any any resources that we have at our disposal, <coughs> any technology that we have at our disposal, definitely helps us out in these investigations. But other than that, we can't really get into trying to ask for too much. We, we, we deal with what we get. I know there's a lot of communications going on with several agencies, and again, I'm not the, the head spokesperson for those groups, but I know that it, it's definitely a conversation that's been had, and we are seeing more camera systems that are out on the freeways, and we'll see if the camera system in this case will help uh, with investigating this incident. So, does that answer your question? For the, for the incident that you're talking about that happened in Contra Costa County uh, on Highway 4, it does a, initially that call came out as a traffic collision. Uh, it looks as though maybe uh, her vehicle was shot at and she sustained gunshot wounds because of those gunshots and that the vehicle ultimately swerved off at that location or she drove off at that location. That's something that's still being looked at. Again, those are details that are, are still pending further investigation. Once those additional uh, details come out, uh, they may be released at that time. And you say that they're targeted. However, you know, the bullets not necessarily are going to always hit who they're trying to hit. Do you have any advice for the public on these roadways every day? We would just ask that uh, people remain vigilant. Uh, in certain cases where these incidents have been caused, maybe by road rage incidents. We just ask people to slow down, drive safe, remain vigilant. If they have dash cam footage and they were in these locations during this time period, they might want to look at some of their dash cam footage as well because they can be vital witnesses to, uh, to these uh, incidents. We can't, we can't, can elaborate on that again it's still ongoing investigation so as more details unfold but just right now investigators believe that, that is the case that that was a gang related targeted shooting They're still looking at all that. Again, it's it's an ongoing investigation, so they'll put all those pieces to the puzzle together, hopefully, and uh, we'll get more details as time goes on. Uh, that one was targeted. I don't I don't believe that uh, I said that one was being related. We would ask that again, the, the witnesses are key to a lot of these uh, cases. It's important for people to realize that if we want to stop this, that a, a lot has to do with people being able to come forward that have that information. And we understand that, uh, that not everybody wants to come forward. Maybe they're scared to come forward, but it's, uh, it's important that we come together as a community and try and stem these. We're doing everything we can on our end Again, our investigators are going to use every bit of technology they have at their disposal to try and get to the bottom of these and, and make more arrests. I'm, I'm sure we'll see more arrests as time goes on. Speaking of technology, do you have any videos here that aren't able to come to all these 
something they're still looking at. As you can imagine, the shot spotter system, uh, it, it's a complicated system, and we have literally millions of vehicles that are traveling through. So it's not its not information that we can get instantly. It's, it's something that the investigators, the investigators have to do and look over uh, quite extensively, and it takes time, unfortunately. Okay, what's that tip line number again? Uh, the tip line number is 707 917-4491. My last name is F-R-A-N-S-E-N. The first name is Cummins Pulling, J-O-H-N. Thank you for coming out.